showing up. Ah, there we are. Uh-uh. All right, it is go time. Let me make sure. I wish the one we just ended wasn't still showing live because we're not. <coughs> Hopefully everybody sees the one that is live. We're gonna wait just another minute. Because we don't have a ton of watchers. Well, we'll have it started. It'll take me a minute to get in the case. So, tonight, 2021 Onyx Vintage Extended Series Baseball. Full case player break. Thank you guys for jumping in. You get to watch me dump boxes everywhere. Because I'm really bad at getting them out. Really bad. I've almost never succeeded getting them out without making a mess. So we're gonna see if we can do it. Oh, that sounds that feels pretty good. Holy cow, we did it. We did it. All right. There are, are 24 boxes. Good luck. Top of the evening. Hey Les, how are you? Hey Kaz. Thanks for jumping in. It should be fun. I saw one of your players, Kaz. Who was who was your two players? We actually have one more sealed case of this, and then I happen to have 36 loose boxes. But I'm not sure what we're going to do with yet. All right. We got Mason Albright and a Jason Dominguez base. First auto of the night. How about no LV Marte? I did. Thank you. You didn't have to send that extra, though. And Wilman Diaz. A couple nice names there. I actually had Alexis Hernandez and uh, Yasser Mercedes in the break tonight, but I have not watched it. Lawler and Ford, sweet. Marte.
camera's been focusing good all night and it's gonna start acting up now. Brett is hiding. Where is he hiding? Is he working? I'd like to find some more um, premium, but I know one place that has four boxes left, and that's all I can find. There's Brett. Got Derek Curio. Let's see if I can. And Fergie Jenkins. We got a redemption. How about a Roderick Aris redemption? Very nice. <laughs> we don't want a nosedive. And Jefferson Espino. We don't pull Arias much out of this version. But there he is in a redemption. That was a great game. Yeah, I know, I know several Buffalo fans. I am sure they are not happy tonight. It was, it was one of those things where it just felt like whoever won that coin toss in overtime was going to win. The defenses were just whooped. They couldn't stop anybody. I do feel like the Bills were pretty lucky in a lot of instances. Cornerbacks fell down a couple times. Um... Chiefs missed two kicks, but yeah, that was pretty bad. Not too bad. And I feel for Josh Allen because I feel like he's good, but if he's going to be in the same division or conference with Mahomes for years to come, it could be one of those things where he's a great player but never gets to show it in the Super Bowl. Jefferson is speedy. There's Jordan Walker. Not the one we want, but. Then we have Michael McGreevy and Gavin Across, ARC. Yeah, well, they just change the rule now where if you kick a field goal, the other team gets a shot. But I don't know. It's, it's hard. The college rules... Good and bad, but you know, I don't know. It's really hard to find a a rule that really works well for overtime. As they always say, if you don't want to deal with overtime, then win and play your life. Jacob Berry. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> meant the wrong one there. Julio Rodriguez. We got Jordani De Los Santos. And Chase Pettix. All blue ink so far. Well, that's true. It was every game this weekend was close and entertaining. Um, because of course that one was the most entertaining, given all the points. But really, the first half was pretty low scoring for those teams, and then the second half went a little crazy. At the inopportune time this time. CJ Abrams and Jonathan Mejia. Next auto, there's a green Kevin Parada. Green ARC. And Tristan Cases. 250 on the green. Not numbered, but if you're not familiar with Onyx, it tells you the 
green number to 50. We know that's not always 100% right because we've seen guys that sign a lot of cards in the wrong color. See, I feel the exact same way, Les. Um, and I wondered if I was the only one that felt that way. I don't feel he's a good coach either. I don't think he does anything special. He just relies on a very athletic, strong arm quarterback. But I didn't know if, if I, I'm glad you said that because I, I felt like that might be an unpopular opinion. So I had been keeping it kind to of myself. Um, but I agree 100%. I don't think he does anything special. Uh, in fact, I think he could play to his quarterback strengths even better than he does. Carlos Duran and a Shohei. Next auto. There you go, Kaz on the board. Jordan Waller. They did. They did. But you think with the number one defense and that quarterback, they should have had a better record. But, you know, losing games like the. I mean, every NFL team loses some they shouldn't. But losing to like the Jaguars. That was perplexing. And Derek Curiel, ARC. But, you know, sometimes that, you know, he was there when they drafted him, so he had that part of that decision, probably. I just I feel like a lot of their success, similar to like the Ravens, although I think Harbaugh's a pretty good coach, is on broken plays. Not all of them. Um, and maybe it's because they have an athletic quarterback. It just seems that way. Penny sleeves messed up. <laughs> Leslie Frazier. Right. It feels very backyard ball a lot of times. Run around, run around, chunk it. But, hey, it ain't broke. They win a lot of games, and they've been to the playoffs a lot, so... I don't know if I so my team's bad. Even when they go to the Super Bowl, they do something historic. Oh, I thought Brady was going to do it again today. Lorenzo, uh, Lorenzo and Randy Johnson. Next auto, we got, who's that? Caden Wallace. ARC. And Sal Freelick. There's a nice one. See, I think the... 49ers coach is a really good coach. And he was one of the reasons that he was the offensive coordinator when the Falcons went to the Super Bowl. Um, but to get the 49ers as far as he's gotten, I think it's a great coaching job. I don't know. Probably not. I'm, I mean, to be honest with you, the Bengals, I felt like I've gotten outplayed two games in a row. If it isn't for Tanny's going to throw three stupid interceptions. Because um, I'll be honest, the, the Titans shut him down pretty good. I mean, he had a lot of passing yards. Um, but they stopped the running game and did a pretty good job on Jamar Chase, except for a, that last play of the game before the field goal and then some broken tackles. It's going to be tough. Jordan Walker, base number two. Rico Ben Castro. Jefferson Espino Auto, number two. And a nice one, Benny Montgomery. <laughs> I felt like the Bills were a, a little bit of a schizophrenic team. They lose games they should not lose. But, it, you know, we'll find out in years to come if it, because, you know, management will see at some point. If it is truly, it's not coaching, they'll make a change. So. See, I think it's just hard to find a good, I mean, just like it's hard to find a good quarterback. 
it's hard to find a good coach too. Yeah, it was the whole second half of defense. I don't think we got one out or what. The Chiefs had some injuries on defense, and the Bills have had some pretty big injuries on defense this year too. Peyton at Pallet. Jose Miranda. And a red Kevin Parada. So we're going green and red, working on that Kevin Parada rainbow. And Jonathan Cannon Parada. Green, or excuse me, red to 25. But it was a good game. Both teams' offenses were just crazy. It's fun to watch. But if the Bengals and Chiefs could have another pretty could get into a shootout, that's for sure. Alright. Now other than Lawler, we haven't really had any we well, haven't been real guys. I don't have any huge names. Really, really, really before we're done with Onyx. I really want to see a, a Griffey auto. And we're getting late. Because <laughs> we only got a little bit left. Ooh, there's a nice one. Green, Julio Rodriguez. And Frank Mazzucato. To 50 on the green J-Rod. Nice name there. Wait, I, think, I think you're just having a bad night, guys. What if they had one? Would you be saying the same thing? I know it's tough, but let's say had they stopped him, would you be quite as upset? I know it's emotionally tough right now. Rickle Bennett De Castro and Kyle Ripken. Next auto, Noel V. Marte, number two. And Enrique Bradfield Jr. Spam real quick. You're welcome. You're welcome. No spam. A lot of spam now. I don't know if anybody watched the break. Was it Thursday night? We had a lot of trolls Thursday night. It was not fun. Oh, I got you. Oh, no, no. I understand that. Gotcha. Yeah, I completely agree with that. They have made some bozo moves over the years. And it doesn't seem to get better. You're Donnie De Los Santos and Dominguez. And wow, this guy's been tough to pull. And here about Jordan Lawler, number two for Kaz. What's up, Angelo? And Maximo Acosta. That was a good box there. Couple of nice base and two nice autos. Yeah, I can only imagine. I know it's tough. Yeah, that was a good box. Been a good case so far. I'll tell you what, seem people seem to be down on Acosta though. His stuff seems to be cheaper than it has been for a while. He was a hot name for a hot minute, and then
Jonathan Cannon, Jacob Gonzalez, Carlos Duran, and Yuri Perez. <laughs> yes, they did. I was so torn. I have a lot of buddies that are Bills fans. I've always been a little bit of a Chiefs fan, going back to the days of Derek Thomas. So I was hoping for a big man game, and we had that. Oh. You're right. Everybody's a hot name this year. It just feels like the luster is off. And maybe it's just because the new guys are out and so on. I'm, I really like Wilman Diaz, but his stuff is probably, I went and looked up some of his cars. They're pricier than I thought they were. So Ellie Marte, Frank Mazzucato. Something on that card. Hot. Peyton Pallet. And Maximo Acosta again. There's something. I don't mess with it. There's something on that card. See that there? Yeah, it's. The Chiefs are becoming like the evil empire because of my own. Although they showed a lot of chinks in the armor earlier this year. They really got better down the stretch, but. But as an Alabama fan and graduate, I understand what it's like to be ruled against by the whole country. Because <laughs> the only people that want Alabama to win are Alabama fans. Nobody else. Unless you bet on them, maybe. Other than that, everybody's ruled against Alabama. Well, Jay Jordan Wicks. Allie Rushman. And who's this? This is a nice one. Khalil Watson. And Ken Waldachuk. We don't have a vet audio. Auto yet. Come on. Be the night for a Griffey. I want to see a Griffey. I told everybody I got one more sealed case. And then I've got 36 loose boxes that I bought from somebody that I don't know why <laughs> they're loose, but I think they put them out in the shop. And then decide to sell them all. And so we'll probably use those in the group for some sort of break. Abrams. I've had a base Abrams. We have not had an Abrams auto yet. Call a bigger name, a Dominguez, uh, Wit, Griffey, Otani type, K set type guy, yeah. Kellum Clark, Jordan Lawler Vase, Robert Hassel, wrong Padre, or well, at least for cat or for less, wrong Padre, and Christian Hernandez. That's a good box there, too. Is that the only one you have tonight, Les? Anybody else? Arias, yeah, he is a little tough. Clark and Spencer Jones. Ooh, there we go. Red, Jacob Gonzalez and Jonathan Cannon. So second red. The black would be nice. Going a case or two now and no blacks.
We had Arius though. Redemption. Did you miss it? There's Arius. When you said that, I forgot we had already. Yep. They are tough. He, I don't. We haven't pulled in very many of him. Sweetie, Robert Hassel. There we go. Jordan Walker Green. Brett. And there's CJ Abrams right behind him. That box hit two requests. <laughs> so Abrams to 50. And a CJ Abrams for less. Nice when one box knocks out two requests. <laughs> that half case of premium the other night, we had like four or five Jordan Walkers. It was crazy. There's a Bobby Wet base. And Otani. Yeah, I'm curious about Abrams too. Ooh, there's a black ink. Andrew Painter. Five of five. Kevin Parada. I mean, we really are. That's our third Parada. Third different color, too. I'm not a huge believer in Abrams just because I don't think he'll ever have any power, personally. So I don't know how well. Uh, he'll be maybe really good, but will he be hobby good? Hey man, preview is so much fun. I wish we had more. I may have to snag those four boxes, but I know I got have it. Only 100 cases of it, so it's drying up really quick. Derek Curiel, Jose Miranda, and Werner Blakely, and Eddie's Leonard. Still no vet auto. No Griffey, Ripken. Beaver, um, Randy Johnson, we haven't pulled him yet either. We pulled Ripken, we pulled Otani, we pulled Beaver before. I feel like it was like three Griffies. I've only said Corey pulled one. I mean, Castro and Maddox Bruns. Three more. Yeah, that was a bad one to have. Uh, having Jordan in the second half is bad. We didn't split that half very well, did we? Kevin Perra. Take a lot of him tonight. Drew Painter. Drew Compton. 
and Carson Williams. With the next, I guess the next Onyx release is that gems or whatever the ones that are slabbed. We should have a little bit of that coming, not many. All right, two boxes. Really appreciate you guys jumping in. We'll do another one of these a week from tonight, and then that'll probably be our last ones on eBay. So we won't have any still cases left. Next up, there we go. How about Kellen Clark, 2021 National Champs, and Kevin Parada again. What's this number? It is 10 of 10. That's pretty awesome. That's our first inscription I think we've pulled. Very nice. Yeah, that's authentic. I heard some stories behind what went on with that, but that's why I was a little surprised when I saw it come out because I thought they'd scrapped that idea. But I know they had some graded, and all of them came back really low graded for whatever reason. So I think they decided to go with just the authentic. I think there was some kind of printing defect that was causing everything to grade really bad. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, that's a really cool card. I'm jealous about that one. That's cool. We really have a, have a big, big name. What I would call a case hit name. But we have had a, a black and a inscription, which is unusual for one case. Carlos Duran. Jacob Gonzalez. Come on, big name. Hayden Wallace and Ken Waldachuk. So a little bit of a wah 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 there at the end. Alright, we'll do a recap of all the autographs. I'm guessing maybe one of those numbered ones took the place of our big autos. Number four. What do you mean, number four, Ross? Four Parada. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That is the fourth Parada. All right, here we go. We had a redemption for Roderick Aris. Thank you, Kaz. Appreciate it, man. We had Ken Waldachuk. These are all our blues. Kate Wallace. Parada number one. <laughs> Compton. Williams. Bruns. DeCastro. Leonard. Blakely. Kevin Parada number two. Yep, you're right, Ross. CJ Abrams. Thank you, Les. We appreciate you, my man. Jonathan Cannon. Christian Hernandez. Not a bad case. Just not a big vet auto. Robert Hassel. Khalil Watson. Ken Waterchuk. Peyton Pallet. Maximo Acosta. Yuri Perez. Carlos Duran. Maximo Acosta, number two. Jordan Lawler. Noel V. Marte. Enrique Bradfield. Frank the Maz. John McCannon, Espino, Benny Montgomery, Caden Wallace, Sal Freelich, Jordan Lawler, number two, Curiel, Casas, Petty, De Los Santos, McGreevy, Cross, Espino, Diaz, Marte, almost done. And our color autos. Walker Green, Rodriguez Green, Parada, Parada Red, Gonzalez Red. We had a Kellen Clark inscription, 10 of 10, and an Andrew Painter Black, 5 of 5. That will do it. Thank you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, very much. Be on the lookout for, I think, our last eBay case of this next Sunday night. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, thanks for breaking with us, and we'll catch you guys next time.